Have you ever wanted to know how to get those perfectly beachy mermaid waves? Well, we're doing that today. Start by dividing your hair in half. I like to leave the front section down with sort of that base section and just divide off like a halo part of my hair at the top. I just find that works well with my cut. But you can divide it off from your temples. Really whatever is best for your hair cut and your hair texture. So then you'll take your curling iron and you want to hold it horizontal. Often in my tutorials you hear me say hold it, hold it vertical, but for this you want to hold it horizontally. You'll just do one bend and then flip the iron around in your hand and place it back in right in the natural bend that's left behind. So I think it might be easiest just to watch me do this a couple times, but you can see the hair is not moving. The only thing that's changing is the direction that I'm putting the iron in. And like I said, I'm trying to hold it as horizontal as possible so I get consistent waves throughout the hair. Make sure the section you're working on is as flat as it can be. Don't ball it up in your hand because you won't get a flat wave. And also make sure you're putting the iron in right where the natural bend is. If you go too far down, you'll get this like weird square shape. You just wanna put it right in where the bend was from the curl before. And you can leave your ends out so it doesn't look too finished and you know those three barrel waving irons that were popular in the early 90s? You don't want to look like that. You kind of want it to look more undone, so leave your ends out. And here I'll just show you a few more times how to do it. And you can see right there I got a crease in that section just because I was pulling the hair down a little bit. So hold it up like I just showed you. And if you do get a crease, just put the iron in a little closer than you would to soften that out and also it helps to comb through a section that has a crease in it right away while the hair is still hot. That will encourage it to sort of soften a little bit versus if you just let it sit there in the position it was in.
So to finish, I grabbed the Oribe Wave and Shine Spray. I thought it was appropriate since I did waves today. This is a little bit heavier of a texture spray than my normal favorites, but I thought it worked just to soften up the waves a little bit. And don't go overkill with any finishing hairspray or any firm hold products. You really want this hair to move and soften. You want it to look like you're a mermaid. And I don't think a mermaid would use hairspray, so just keep that in mind.